Hey guys, just arrived at 4x4 Extras in Wangara. I'm super pumped. We've got some uh, big things happening to the Next Gen Ranger today. I'm here to meet Sean and he's going to take us through what's happening. All right, Sean, how are you going? Okay, Sean, so I know I've been doing a bit of work with you for a couple of years now. So in, you did right. um, some suspension on the Pajero Sport. Mm -hmm. um, so Sean's based here in um, Wangara, and um, conveniently he's crossed the road from Aaron um, that did the PPF wrap um, at Dentless um, recently as well. So it's really handy doing everything in the same spot. So we've been here 13 years for an independent store. So we've moved a couple of locations over those years, got a little bit bigger. Uh, platinum store for the Ironman products. Uh, we do a range of products for your bull bars, suspension, and CB radios, yeah. dual battery systems, all sorts of stuff like that really. Canopies, roller covers, roof racks, and <laughs> the list just goes on and on. It's kind of um, no limits really, um, is there? Pretty much, yeah. We're not just limited to the Ironman products. We do do other things, you know, it would be Red Arc or yeah. Yeah, lithium batteries and bits and pieces. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things we do. Yeah, and I, I think it was probably about maybe four years ago I first uh, connected um, with Sean here and it was obviously with the Pajero Sport, mm, yep. um, needed a lift and uh, a bull bar and a, a few things. So um, the work started on, on the Pajero Sport and it's kind of one of those things I think, y I like to connect with people that do quality work and I keep kind of gravitating back to that. So obviously with, with the Ranger, it was for me it was a no brainer to, to connect with, with Sean here and, and do some work. Um, I know it's gonna be quality and I'm gonna get good advice and I'm not gonna get pushed into products that I don't need as well and I think that, that's really important. So um, it's quite funny, um, Sean's actually bought a, a new Ranger as well. Yeah, so yeah. Um, might show to the Ranger too, yeah. <laughs> might show that at the front, but um, yeah, he's got a nice um, silver one look, looking, looking good. Um, so yeah, we, we have been chatting about modifications and it's obviously quite exciting when you have a new car and you know what, what to do. So it is, that's, yeah, that's it really is. Good. They're, they're nice, especially with that V6 in it. It's, uh, it's a different beast. Yeah, it? no, it's, a, it's, it's amazing. Um, so today we're going to totally transform pretty much the look of, of my black stock Ranger at the moment. So it's getting some tyres, uh, bull bar. Yep, uh, flares, we've got the EGR flares for it. Um, yeah, you've got Ironman Deluxe bull bar going on. You've got your wheels, which yep. are going to look pretty cool. Yep. And a winch, and a winch as well. CB radio. Yep. Yeah, so it's going to so completely look like a different car. It will. Come back and pick it, up. <laughs> it will. So kind of the, the essentials, and, and those of you that watched um, the last video would know that I took it out stock and you know it was reasonably capable, but you know, your limited clearance and things like that. So that the bigger tires will certainly help. Um, their all terrain is a big chunky all terrain as well so Mickey Thompson so so that will definitely um, you know be, help with with the traction off-road um, we're not doing a suspension lift at this stage yes no, still waiting on stock unfortunately for the yep. new model but that's uh, only a month away yeah so so that might come in, in a later video um, but I think you'll notice it will totally transform even just with the tires and, and things like that as well and there is one other thing that um, Sean has done but it, he actually sneaked it in before today which is an electric um, roller cover yes yeah so put the Iron Man roller cover on that the slide away and uh, it keeps it all secure mm -hmm. in the back for you yeah so I've had that for a couple of weeks. I'll show you guys how that works, but basically on a little remote control, press the button, slides in and yeah, out. and simple. Really cool. So Lots of people steal um, your fridge and your beers. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so the work kind of begins now. Um, how long do you think it'll take to, to do all the work, Sean? It's probably about 10 hours in it, i say, in the, in the build that we're doing today. It's not a huge build, like compared to some we do, but yeah, the full bar's a good five hours, yeah. a couple of hours doing the winch properly. Flares are a good two hour job. Yeah, wow. Doing the flares, so. And then you see me. So. so the team have got their work cut out. Yeah, <laughs> we're busy. Yeah, we'll be ready for you tomorrow. No, awesome. All right. So super pumped. All right, guys. Well, uh, next time you see it, it's probably going to be completely different. <laughs> So front bumper comes off. Front supports. And we can start fitting the cradle.
Guys, just here with the Ranger, super pumped. I thought I'd take you through some of the mods and a bit of the reason behind why I've chosen to go that way. So probably uh, most obvious would be the front of the vehicle and the bull bar. So behind me is the Ironman Commercial Deluxe bull bar. Um, I did toy between going a loopless bar and a traditional bull bar. In the end, I went with the, uh, with the looped option. Um, I did run the Ironman Commercial Deluxe on the Pajero Sport as well, so I know it was a good bar. Um, but one of the decision factors for me was the fact that we're going to be, um, you know, regional um, in remote places and I wanted the extra protection. Um, currently with the new gen Ranger, there, there is a limitation on options in market. Of course, there will be a lot more coming into the market as soon as um, manufacturers have sort of caught up. But um, I looked at the Ironman TJM and also the AIB bars. I went with the Ironman bar for a number of reasons. Um, airflow was a big one. It's also got a massive RAM intake at the bottom as well. So I thought that'd be great to keep the um, intercooler uh, with plenty of air. So, so that was a big factor as well. And it looks really cool. So um, um, hopefully you agree, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with my decision. You also get quite a thick four mil steel bash plate at the front here as well. So uh, that'll be good obviously for any kind of rocks or anything that you might hit as you go over any terrain. I've gone for the Ultra PDX 1200 pound winch this time around as well. Um, that sits quite neatly here, a little flip up plate for the number plate. You can see there for the fair lead under there. So that's nicely hidden away. And what I love as well about this Ironman bar is there's heaps of airflow either side of the winch and obviously underneath as I showed before. So topping off the front here is an Ironman light bar. Just runs perfectly between uh, the bars there at the front, which looks good. Yeah, the only thing I didn't mention before was the grill. So I did actually swap it out. Previously, the XLT grill with the silver, I've changed it out for a wild track gr uh, grill just to black it out. So again, more for aesthetic reasons than anything else. Behind me is the super aggressive uh, Mickey Thompson Baja Boss all-terrain tires. They're about the most aggressive you can get on an all-terrain. Um, really love the look of them. Um, I was tempted to go Falcon Wild Peaks again, so I had the AT3s on my Pajero Sport. They were a wicked tyre, and I think for an all-rounder, um, they're hard to beat. Um, but I love the aggressive look of the Baja Bosses. Um, I think they really will set off the vehicle uh, very well. Um, they are a three-plier tyre as well, so they're slightly thicker than the two-ply I had on the Pajero Sport. So, you know, a bit more protection off-road with uh, any sidewall puncturing. Um, but yeah, really happy with those. Um, they're a 285 70 17, so they're a 33 inch tire. In the middle of those big tires is the ROH uh, Vapor rims. They're an alloy rim. Love the look of those. They are predominantly black, but with a little bit of silver on the outline. So um, they really set off the vehicle really nice. And um, yeah, the guys at Tire Power in Osborne Park looked after me, uh, did a test fit, which was amazing. So thank you to the guys there. Some aggressing, aggressive looking tyres there. Yeah. I've heard that, yeah. Already it looks meaner, doesn't it? <laughs> So we've done a test fit and we've got a slight amount of rubbing. It's not much on the front of the tire. Uh, rear's okay and inside is fine. So these are 33 inch tires and they, and they fit. Um, but what we've decided to do um, is we're gonna uh, install them once the bar's on because that will give us a bit more room on the front. 
and behind me is also the whip for the GME radio so um, Sean and his crew at 4x4 Extras did a great job here with the install um, I didn't want it on the front bull bar this time I wanted to have it tucked away um, so we came up with a solution of having it on the sports bar which I think is a really neat um, way of installing it uh, it's on a bracket as well which means I can have it up and down last but not least on the exterior is a slide away um, electric shutter on the rear of the tray um, so I've opted for that just due to ease and Sean at 4x4 Extras also installed that so that's an Ironman product super easy to use I've got a remote here press the button and it slides in and out Okay, so moving to the inside of the vehicle now, there's a couple of things I've done since owning the vehicle. Um, Sean installed the GME radio for me. Um, so I've got the TX3350 unit, which I had in the Pajero Sport. It's a good little unit. So um, that's been installed behind the dash and it's got a neat little install where I've got a little plug next to my leg here. And I can remove that as well. Connect that one in. You can see uh, my headset there and I can just place that out of the way and I can have that in when I'm using it and tucked away when it's uh, when it's not in use so um, so that's nice and convenient other than that I have my EVC throttle controller uh, which is formerly iDrive I have that installed here in my Ranger um, I know that it can be divisive with some people but um, I'm a big fan I had one in my Pajero Sport and um, I love it it just removes that throttle lag uh, for everyday driving um, and it obviously gives you some flexibility when you're off-road to soften uh, the accelerator as well so um, I added that in a few weeks ago loving that um, I have put some molded um, car mats in here as well and uh, a dash mat, but um, minor stuff. But um, yeah, really happy with uh, where everything's at. Um, in terms of where to from here, uh, look, potentially suspension is on the cards in the future. Um, I did run a snorkel with my last vehicle as well, so that might be coming. There's a few options on market and I'm just making my mind up at the moment. Uh, but look, at the moment, just enjoying everything. It's time to, to get it off-road and um, do some towing with the family. So stay tuned uh, for some more trips. And um, I'll obviously keep you all updated with future mods on the Ranger. Hope you enjoyed the content. Um, you know, if you're not currently subscribed or new to the channel, would love it if you could subscribe. It certainly uh, does help the channel grow. And uh, I'll continue to um, keep turning around videos. Um, hope you enjoy it. Any questions, drop it in the comments below. Thanks so much. Bye. Oh.